there he is. And look, he's wearing a Reds Room shirt. And at the end of this, you're going to hear more about how to get these. But for right now, let's get to the point. Let's get to the heart of the matter. Let's get to Eric, who wants to share his awesome music from Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. Eric Rapp, good evening. Hello. What a great night. And it and it's gonna get better because you're here. That's that's the best thing about it. Well, it just it's, keeps... not, it's not going to be as pretty musically, I'll say that much. <laughs> or or I'm I'm about as old as you are, so it's it's certainly not gonna look that way either. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'll tell I'll tell you what, I I I sort of like some of the newer music lately. I, I had I had a girl crush on Cle Kelly Clarkson. I know she's kind of old fashioned now too, but at one <laughs> point she was kind of cool. But anyways, anyways, for what it's worth, we're here and we have, or you, you're here, OG, and you've got the mic and you're just gonna kill it. So Eric, let's go ahead and hear your first song. Great, great, great. So I am actually gonna do some songs that I don't get to do too often. Um, and, and the, there's various reasons why, but one of them is that um, some of them need explanation. And uh, uh, one, of the, one thing that I really enjoy doing is being able to go to a place, whether it be a, a, ch a church service or, or a living room service, and actually just unpacking a couple of my songs. And these are all original songs, uh, but these are some of them that are maybe a little more, um, involved i guess you would say um and uh, to, to a certain extent i, I joke around I, I call them b-sides because i don't get to play them as often when i'm out but this first song uh, actually the first three songs are going to talk about uh expectations if i wanted to put one kind of frame around the whole thing it's expectations and this first song talks about that you know we think god has certain expectations about us and on us and then conversely we have expectations of, on god and about god and even in the second verse of this is it talks about how in the first century when he was before he went to the cross they had certainly some expectations about him and uh he didn't live up to those expectations but boy did he live up to some higher and better things for us all um, so uh i'll just go into this song and Hopefully it'll make some sense. There's a lot of a meaning to it, but expectations is the one thing I'm trying to bring out tonight. And this is called, She Calls Upon Your Name. Not affected by emotions or moved by circumstance You will not be thwarted, nothing can change your plans Pure is your devotion, single is your eye You alone are able, you will not be denied You will not be denied So many say, what you're gonna do so many follow for what they say sounds so true Your thoughts are higher than the best of men So many working hard, but do they know what you intend? But she, she calls upon your name No other voice sounds the same a voice like and angels all you desire from the one you love the earth stands still and the heavens bow down they praise the father for what he's done for his son king a king in the eyes 
sons of man come to earth to overthrow those in command. They say 33 is wasted, so many hopes were torn. But 33 is in three days for your queen to be reborn. So many say, what y'all gonna do? So many follow for what they say sounds so true. Your thoughts are higher than the best of men. So many working hard, but you may not want to intend. But she, she calls upon your name. No other voice sounds the same. The heavens bow down, they praise the Father For what he's done for his son So simple A story of love Yet so misunderstood It does not seem enough to be your one desire Your one purpose The fulfillment of your joy When she calls upon your name No other voice sounds the same A voice like ten thousand angels All you desire from the one you love The earth stands still and the heavens bow down they praise the Father for what He's done for His Son. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out what just happened because <laughs> you got the prog rock, you got the key changes, you got the you got chords I've never heard of, <laughs> and then you're dropping truth and wisdom, and your singing is great. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am I am literally nobody. <laughs> you know, we're all unknown artists here. Some I think everybody else is probably more known than me, but. Uh, I'm just a local local guy right now, and uh, and that's 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 it. I've been writing songs a really long time. I've I've uh, been a Christian for well, I, I was my birthday's this week. That's the reason I was kind of in and out a little bit. So uh, I guess it's 41 years now, and uh, have had a lot of experiences and seen a lot of things. And I'm kind of a student of Christianity and a student of church history, and a lot of my music is is in that i'm very very passionate about the church mm -hmm. and about christians and about god and his people and uh that's where it comes well, from it's, it, it's it's your musical style that really captured me because see i i grew up you know listening to um topanga canyon rock and then all of a sudden i found yes yeah. and and i was kind of thinking you might have had sort of an inkling to listen like 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 those kind of bands back in the day and we so. we and we had like a group called coin and neo they were kind of more sure, point and neo. Yep. They, they were kind of more like like christian jazz, uh, not, jazz yeah jazz they, they were more jazz the very good and, great, great band yeah, yeah oh abraham laborio i i saw them live a couple times and he reminded me of a black pillsbury doughboy <laughs> <laughs> but but the guy the guy got so happy playing even like when he was just sitting on his little riff oh, yeah. you know and just but all of a sudden when, when he got a solo it was like it was it was awkward but anyways eric Rout, where i'm just curious where did you get your musical influences from well my you know i grew up with a lot of classic rock a lot of prog rock my brother was a huge huge music fan and uh he uh he would 
When I was when I was 14 years old, he started taking me to concerts with him. I think my first concert was Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, and then Chicago, and then I mean I've just I just saw so much you know secular music and and really uh, kind of really um, kind of settled on that prog rock, um, yes, mm -hmm. and Genesis and that kind of thing. Um, I find I find more Christian music now that's like that um, that uh, that uh, that I really can relate to, as far as that goes. And I I'm kind of you know other things other influences are like you know Santana and um, uh, the Who you know bands like that. And so it, it kind of just all mixed in, and I kind of know I kind of know enough about what I'm doing to 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 not know what I'm doing. <laughs> so it just mix it's just a mush of all that stuff uh, musically, so. Well, that, that was a wonderful, wonderful song, and I'm so glad you shared that. Now, you, um, actually, I'm gonna let you sing another song, then we'll talk yeah. about some of your background. Okay. What would you like to share with us next? Well, I'm actually gonna talk about my background a little bit, because this, again, this comes to act, uh, talking about expectations. And um, this song here, I actually, for this song, I wasn't able to do live because it didn't work live and most of my, the reason I originally went into the studio in 2017 was to take some of my songs and make backing tracks so that I could perform live which I do this very often um, and uh, I'm actually working on putting a band together I've had bands in the past and I work with other bands now but you know this is primarily what I do because it's easy and I can almost go anywhere I can go into a living room with a little speaker and do this I can do this here on, on Red's Room. Or, or So the first time I did this, this song I'm going to do next was two weeks ago on Crazy Blessed Worship, which was Rick Ross's show. And, um, and because uh, we just got to a point, I worked with the guy at the studio to say, how can we make this so I can actually do this song? And, and so um, this, is, this will be the second time I'm doing it. But it's, it's almost, all, it, I guess it's autobiographical um, in the fact that it's called, it's called Simplicity Lost. It's two songs put together. One's an inst a short instrumental, and the other one's a song called Same Old Song. So Simplicity Lost is the instrumental, and then Same Old Song is, the, is the, uh, where, I, where I have lyric to it. And it's very autobiographical. I, became a, I got saved, again, um, when I was 21, so 41 years ago. And, um, and uh, I got radically saved. I mean, I was, I was a drug addict, I was an alcoholic, I had all kinds of emotional and um, psychological problems, everything from, you know, just, just deep depression to, to um, suicidal tendencies and, and, uh, and, and a lot of things in between. It was, I was physically and, uh, and emotionally uh, and psychologically almost on my way out. Um, and, and I'm not, there's, there's, my wife would tell you because we were dating at the time. She will tell you that is no exaggeration at all. But in an instant, I got saved, and I didn't know anything. I grew up Jewish. Um, I really didn't know anything about Christianity. We weren't practicing Jews, and um, I didn't know one piece of scripture. I didn't know the the girl that that talked to me about the Lord. Um, she she had only been a Christian for a couple weeks. <laughs> But, the, but she said that something happened and she felt like I needed to hear what she, her story. So she just told me her story. I sat on that for a couple of months and it just kept sticking with me. But the one thing that she said was, I knew, never knew that I was loved before. And now I know I'm loved. And that's what stuck with me. And uh, I, when I got saved, that's, that's what I said. I, that, that's, that's where I got to. And I realized in an instant that I, w I went from darkness to light. And what happened is, um, for, for a number of reasons, I got very involved with being a good Christian. That's gonna sound weird, but I wanted to do everything I could to keep this. I didn't wanna, I, don't, I, I was afraid that if I let up and, and I was, so I was reading all kinds of things and I was talking to Christians, I got involved with a, a great church, but they were very, um, kind of works oriented, if you wanted to say. And I became like a Christian machine. And after a few years, I lost that simplicity. And that's why this first, call, this first song is called Simplicity Lost. But then, thankfully, through another series of circumstances, the same old song of love came back. And that's what this song is.
The song he sung all along. It's the song he sung when he called you. He's always singing that song. Same old song He cannot, will not change You will not sway him his love cannot be shaken or put out. See, we're the ones who change simplicity, we exchange and we live by standards made. It still remains the 
the same old song, the same old song. It's his song of love. Okay, I, I just got to ask, that, that was a beautiful song, by the way. Who was playing piano? Because I heard I heard some little flourishes that are kind of like. Oh my gosh, this kid. is that you? No, I wish it was. Bro. Oh, I like so much too. I, this guy, he plays. He on this song, he was playing piano and organ, uh -huh. but he plays like every instrument. And he's his name's Keith, and uh -huh. uh, he's a local guy, just a local guy here. He, he works at uh, the studio that I do the music, and uh, he's the most brilliant musician I've ever met. I mean, he really is just a genius musically, and he and he and he's uh, so great to work with. I mean, just all the, all the guys I work with are like, you know, they're these guys are great musicians, and they're listening to me. They want to know what I think. They want to know what I'm looking for. You know, wow. I just think that's amazing. So. Well, I'll I'll tell you what I I, I started kind of hearing things, and. Um, I, so you're not even playing bass or are you play, you're not you're playing bass on this or not uh, i mean i the first couple songs i really one, heard no. uh, the first couple songs i heard some really cool bass riffs but I, I was but anyways for whatever it's worth what what a what a beautiful like buffet of of just amazing gifting and blessings from from god Thanks, to brother. these beautiful musicians and you it's like ah yeah, oh, absolutely absolutely but, yeah just such a diet yeah hey i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you what um bigger story bigger story what so you you said the good news you want to share the good news that jesus loves cares and has a plan for for these people in his bigger story and i'm just curious how do you fit into this bigger story just just in your own own uh, recollection well, first of all, I think we all fit in his bigger story as, as the greatest thing that we could ever be called, mm -hmm. son or daughter. Mm -hmm. There's nothing greater than that. And everybody fits into every Christian if they, I, I, I'm telling you, brother, there's a lot of Christians that don't realize this. There's something more that they need to be doing. There's some, they, don't, they, don't, they don't come into the fullness of this this love, it says, being rooted and grounded in his love. And, and they don't understand that, that they are so loved as, as, as deeper than any father or any mother could ever love their child. That is, that's where we all fit into this story, brother. That's, that's, the, that's the pinnacle. That's the height of it all. And then there's and then there's things where we fit in to you know kind of filling finding our our role finding our our place finding the things that that the lord wants us to do and actually this would be a great intro to my next song um but uh but um yeah i i uh, I, I think that that if we that if we um just allow god to have his way and to live through us and and this song's called river running through so it's kind of the next step after that song. And, it's, and again, it's, it's kind of talking about these expectations where we think God has these certain, what are we supposed to do as Christians? What does a Christian do? Well, unfortunately, it's not always the same. We're not cookie cutter. We don't, we don't have the same, we don't all have the same way of relating to God. You know, somebody finds that, so, many, so much of Christianity is about, I, I, I did this and, and God blessed it. And now everybody should be doing that. Let me write a book about it. Let me do a, 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 a series about it. And everybody should be doing this because this is what God expects. It might be for some people. It probably is for some people. But see, God's so broad and so, so wide in the way that he wants to direct our lives, our roles, our place, our, our where are we in this story? And if we allow this river, which is the Holy Spirit of God, just to live through us, it guides us in all ways. It just, it, 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 life, life makes sense. There's a, there's a we, we know 
what, what we're supposed to do and what we're not supposed to do, and, and uh, there's, the striving stops if we just allow this flow of life to run through us. So this is river running through, if you want me to just go with that. Just want to love the Lord He says that's simple I believe that's true Why is it made so complicated? They say there's so much We need to do now I stopped running around in these circles long ago Now I now live my life following not what but who I know There's a river running through That's how we'll know what to do See our life, it's just an overflow of the love, the Father, and the Son, they always knew. This life, it's not stagnant, sometimes quiet, sometimes it seems dry, but there's always water flowing from a higher life, a spring inside. Before time began, he established a plan for you and me. If you need to know what to do, just rest in him, learn to be. There's a river running through. That's how we we'll know what. See our life, it's just an overflow of the love, the Father, and the Son, they always knew. And drinks of him inside shall be a well, and that well will be a spring where that spring flows. Who can tell? You sense when you enter his rest, they're spiritual. You use intuition to lead your mind and guide your soul. There's a river running through, that's how we'll know. See our life, it's just an overflow of the love, the Father, and the Son, they always knew.
It's just an overflow of the love of Father and the Son. They always knew say that was my favorite song from your set i it's it's yeah, like so fun one. to hear you just express your musical your your vocal your your heart to the lord and uh it, you know it's funny you know how like like you're on a path and you have control you step 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 when you're on a river you're kind of flowing. There's no, not a That's whole right. lot of choices. Maybe, That's right, maybe an right. occasional fork, but, right. and, and I was, I was thinking about that as listening to your song. I thought that we, we should learn how to embrace where God is leading us. Amen. Amen. And, and sometimes I, I want to, you know, get my paddle. And yes, try exactly. to, yes, yes, yes. And, been, there, been there, done that. <laughs> But but that song was beautiful. That was so cool. And and like I said earlier, you know, you have awakened my prog rock uh, sentimentalities. I, I love I, I love what victory. You, <laughs> you got one. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm, that's I'm, true. <laughs> actually, we're getting a lot of good comments uh, on the uh, on the feed. Um, let's see who was uh, Debbie was telling me uh, how. Uh, oh, where's Debbie? Yeah, your sons and daughters are everything. Eric, I love your guitar playing. And you know, and, and again, it's so cool. We all have gifts. We some of us has 10, some of us has 50, some of us have 100. That's right. And it's like, it's like, yeah, there's Phil Katie, there's Stevie Vi, there's there's the guys, you know, Santana, Carlos, my gosh. He yeah. he passed away though, or has he passed away? I hope I don't think so. If he did, I missed that because no, I don't think I don't think he has yet. Okay, yeah. good. He's yeah, up he's... there. I just saw I saw him about two years ago in concert, and well, come to Vegas, and if you ever want to see him, let me know. I'll I'll get you uh, you know hook you up with the bedroom here. Well, and and we'll go see him together. Oh, I, I sometimes don't, don't, I can get tickets. Don't tempt me, brother. <laughs> I'm, I'm semi-retired now, so. <laughs> in in June, I I get to say the same thing, but for now. I just want to say thank you for sharing your oh, my pleasure. I, I, I really appreciate every, I say this all the time, but what you guys, what red and you guys are doing is just so impressive to me, allowing some of us artists just to get, come on and share our hearts and get some exposure. And uh, who knows, who knows, you know, what could happen? You know, um, listen, my whole thing is I'm not looking for fame and fortune. I'm too old for that, but, I, I'm telling you, I want to share. I want to share the yeah. Lord. I, I, I feel like the Lord's given me something to say, and, and uh, I'm, 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 open for, I'm open to jump into the river wherever he wants to take that. So. Amen. Hey, I'm, I'm really sorry. I was trying to get your, your, your Facebook page up. Yeah. You are facebook.com forward slash eric.rap.104. There's actually 103 Eric raps before Isn't you. Isn't that incredible? I didn't, I grew up not knowing one other Eric or one other rap other than my father. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, but anyways, okay. So, so Eric dot rap dot one Oh four on Facebook. If you want to look him up, he's there. Um, anything else that you're doing in the near future? Oh, sure. First of all, you can find me on Eric rap music.com. And, and for some reason it's not working for some people. I don't know why, but you can go to, uh, you can go to reverb nation and find me, there, if you just put in Eric Rap, search for that. But I'm on all the platforms. I think I've got now, I don't know, f almost 50 songs out. Um, mm -hmm. So what's going on now is um, I'm in the studio again, recording three new songs. And um, I've got, uh, May and June are very busy. It's been very busy. And I do everything, and I will. I mean, uh, I'll do a Zoom session with people. I'll do, uh, I know this is like a shameless, uh, plugging here but as i said i just i'm looking for i'm looking for people to share with and i mean share like converse i love this conversation that we have i'm looking to get a conversation started 
about the Lord, maybe some different aspects and different things that people haven't looked at. And um, so that excites me. But, um, you know, I do everything from living room sessions to big outdoor outreach things to festivals to, to and every, basically everything in between. Yeah. Church services, I lead worship at, at churches. And, and uh, so, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. I'm, 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 feeling like, um, I'm feeling like things are progressing nicely. Very good. Very good, Eric. I, I am so glad. And you know what? Until you're dead, keep on rocking. Just keep it going, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You too, brother. <laughs> and, and I would just like to spend a moment just to pray for you. And I am just so thankful that, that we got to hear you tonight. Lord, I just thank you for Eric. I just thank you for the gifts that you've given him, Lord his talent in writing and singing and playing. I just pray, Lord, you would open doors and Lord, give them chances to hear other people's stories, how they fit into the big story mm -hmm. with God, to encourage him and to allow him to encourage others as well. I thank you, Lord, that you brought him from the miry uh, clay and, and the horrible pit of addiction and depression, God. And I just pray that you would continue to heal and bless him of those things, God, and just to continue to be able to even share with others who are going through the same thing, just to let them know that, that you know, God, God has a way. God has a way. Yes. Have them jump in the river mm -hmm. so that we can all just, just yes. follow your lead and Lord, when, when it's time to go home, Lord, I just, I just look forward to you saying to us, to Eric, well done, good and faithful servant. Thank you again for tonight, and I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Eric Amen. Rapp from Drexel Hill. Are there hills in Pennsylvania? I mean, is oh, there yeah. anything more than like, like a, like a four-foot, you know, dirt pile? I'm near, I'm near Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I, I'm practically in Philadelphia. I should just change that to say Philadelphia. But oh, okay. Hill is very hilly. I uh, my house sits up on a hill. So oh. It's very hilly. You can get a good workout <laughs> work, work, walking around Drexel Hill. Well, that's good. Um, and real quick, Geno's and what's the other one? Geno's, you know, the the, the Philly state. Oh, Pats. 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 So but, are, but, uh, not the best. They're not the best. Oh, you, you've got, you've got other, so, uh, okay. I, yeah. There's a well, lot of great cheesesteak places in Philadelphia. You well, gotta, if come, I can, try, you gotta go, come try them all. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be a week and we'll do a daily, you know, smorgasbord. That'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. And you, and you and I will both uh, have uh, uh, a defibrillator with us if we're going to eat that many cheesesteaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the whiz, oh, <laughs> that that that's a that's an instant Lipitor dose right there. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. We we're we're getting we're getting some old talk here. <laughs> yes, we are. Hey, everybody, Eric Rapp, thank you again. What a pleasure. My oh. pleasure.